couldn't find another place to go. <laughs> yeah. Like in the gutter, maybe? It's dead. Still standing to collapse. Throughout the day, the city suffers 26 aftershocks, each one slowing the already overstretched rescue effort. Fires rage and spread throughout the city. They are not stopped until 74 hours later. Many of San Francisco's finest buildings collapse under the firestorms. Firefighters begin dynamiting buildings to create fire breaks. It's afternoon now, it is 1 p.m. The temporary hospital set up outside City Hall is abandoned due to the impending fire break. The sick and injured are forced to evacuate the temporary camps to let the army create a massive fire break in the hopes it can stop the raging inferno. This decision means abandoning dozens of city blocks, many of them filled with mansions to the fire. The rich spectators who have spent the day watching the fires from atop Knob Hill finally realize their homes won't be saved and will soon burn. Friday, April 20th, 1906. 5 a.m., the fire break at Van Ness finally holds. <laughs> Lily Coit Ewald Huggins, let's hear it for her. Woo! That's right. These folks will tell us in a few minutes uh, about preparation and what we can do and about their preparation to help us get through a disaster such as 1906. 
The guardians of the city are charged with the preservation of the city's emergency service history. And thanks to the fire, police, uh, Department of Emergency Management, and Sheriff's Departments for their continued support. And Dave, of course, a personal friend, he's, as Reggie Jackson used to say, is the straw that stirs the drink. He is that as well as the circus janitor who sweeps up behind the elements so that no one sees the mess left behind. Fantastic. Also, a special thank you to Ron Ross. Give him a hand right now. I'll tell you about him right now. He's a founder. He's the founder of the San Francisco History Association. Ron is the second longest attendee after Donna to lot of stuff. We also want to thank Ed Reskin and the MTA for providing historic streetcar number one for the ride up to the Golden Hydrant a little bit later on. And finally, to my good friend Lee Housekeeper, who the San Francisco Examiner calls a PR impresario for making this happen for nearly 30 years, a hand for Big Lee. Are we set? Mayor London, breathe, everybody. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Now, we know that if there were a woman mayor in 1906, this is how she would dress. <laughs> so I'm here to celebrate history in San Francisco because many of us who grew up here, we know that San Francisco is earth when you hear about what a beautiful city it is and continues to be. So I am just really excited to be here to celebrate with guardians of the city who continue to protect that history. I'm here and excited to be with so many of our first responders from the fire department, from the police department, from the Department of Emergency Management, people who are ready to roll up their sleeves to protect our city. I love that because that reflects the ingenuity of this incredible city. This reflects exactly how we are capable of doing things. And when Donna Ewald shows up and gets outdressed by London Breed, you know there is a new generation, a new day, and a new time. Welcome to all of you to this year's celebration. Thank you. Always a part of every historic occasion. The Honorable Willie, fantastic. Well, our next guest uh, is within 15 days of retirement. 29 years of service, half of those spent as the fire chief. She's tough, she's fair, she tells a good story, and I love her. Would you please welcome Fire Chief Joanne Hayes White, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for being out here and always preserving our rich history and tradition. Uh, I'm grateful. This is will be my last time up here as Chief of Department. Uh, it's been a phenomenal privilege and honor to serve in the department and as your chief for the last 15 years. Good morning. Good morning. So it's hard to follow Mayor Reed and Mayor Brown and then Chief Hayes White. So I just want to echo a few things that have already been said. First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. As Chief Hayes White said, these are moments that we can remind ourselves of really how this city comes together. San Francisco has a rich, illustrious history of rising to the occasion. We are going to hang the wreath. I'm just going to put these folks on alert. Uh, the mayor and Lily Coit, Chief Hayes White and Ron Ross, we're gonna hang that wreath right after our minute of silence, which is right about now, to remember those who perished and those who survived to rebuild San Francisco. Please, let's have 30 seconds of silence right now. Here's the sound of the sirens to historically remember those who passed and for us to be ready for the future. For those who 
those who perished and those who survived to rebuild San Francisco. Let us continue. And if the mayor and Lily Coit and Chief Hayes White and Ron Ross would please gather up here on stage to hang the wreath, everybody. We have some very inexperienced wreath hangers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I haven't done this since I was out at Duggins in uh, Daly City. Okay. <laughs> nice job. How about a nice hand for our celebratory wreath hangers? All right. Oh, we got to do a little singing. Yes. We're going to sing a little San Francisco to get us back in a little helpful mood. You want to start it with us? I have the words here with you. All right. All right. Here it is. It only takes. Do you see it here? Yeah, we got it. Do you have it here? Everybody ready? Yes. Thank you for coming, everyone. Ready. Here we go. One, two, three. It only takes a tiny corner of this great big world to find a place you love my home upon the hill i find i love you still i've been away but now i'm back to tell you san francisco open your golden gate you'll let no stranger wait outside a door San Francisco, here is your wandering one, saying we'll wander no more. Other places only make me love you best. Tell me you're the heart of all the gold and west. San Francisco, pilgrim me home again. I'm coming home to go wandering no Pretty fantastic for uh, 5.15 in the morning. Hey, you know what? We're all going to reconnoiter at 20th and Church at the Golden Hydrant painting. And if you want, you can be in this uh, historic streetcar number one for the ride up to the Golden Hydrant, courtesy of Ed Reskin and the MTA. It's right over here, right? Somewhere? Right here. Oh, right here. Look at that. Right there. If you want to join us up there, please do. But it's like, is this even a lane? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> believe it or not. I think it's, a... it's not outrageously early anymore. <laughs> it's still early, but it's not. You think people would be starting to? Yeah. Come alive a little bit. Look at the windshield. Is that even people on the street? <laughs> <laughs> For today only it's legal. <laughs> Everything's legal today. Directory. Hopefully it has good brakes, yeah, because it's downhill. <laughs> so do you think it's a... Uh... Oh, does it say we can't turn left? No, but... Okay, you can do it. Right. You can do so it. this is here? Yeah, right here. yeah. This is church? Because this is church. Okay. 
That was confusing. Of course it is. <laughs> She's the one that dragged me into this, and I'm saying goodbye. This is my final trip up here to the hydrant. You didn't tell us that. Yeah, this is it. It ain't so, Ron. Oh, it's so. For those of you that live in the neighborhood or don't know some of the history of it, if you're going 21st uh, Guerrero, right over here, walk down the street towards uh, Valencia. One side of the street is new houses. The other side of the street are the old houses that survived the quake and have plaques on them saying when they were built. It's a very strange street. Other than that, uh, Lee, are you here? On the streetcar. Uh, on the streetcar. I could just push, I could just see him and Lee pushing that damn car. Anybody here from the Guardians? Everybody's here from the Guardians. <laughs> Lee. I'd like to introduce the other chief of the San Francisco Fire Department, Joanne Hayes White. This will be her last time in uniform at this corner, but I know that she will be here next year. So, Chief, say good morning to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Retired Captain James Lee, one of the best. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Uh, saw some of you at Lotus Fountain, and for those of you joining us here uh, at this site, uh, this is my last time spraying the hydrant gold in uniform. Uh, it's been an honor and privilege to serve as your chief for 15 years in uh, the department for 29 plus. So uh, I'm grateful for a lot of things. Thanks to the Guardians of the City. Donna was acknowledged appropriately yesterday. He started doing this in 1974, 45 years ago. So, and Ron? 76. 76, okay. So I was in grammar school. Uh, I was 10 and 74, and I was 12 and 76. Anyways, you look amazing. You have not changed. You've changed a little bit, but that's the way it goes. That's how I've changed a lot. So anyways, like I said, uh, 113 years ago, this city suffered great loss, but it proved that the city was really resilient. So I want to take the time we talk about commemorating what happened 113 years ago, celebrating what a great city we are, and then obviously educating on the importance of personal preparedness. It's everyone's duty as a citizen here in San Francisco. And I know usually we go around and Donna will, will take over again and we talk about who we want to uh, acknowledge and pay respect to before we spray. And before I spray, I would like to thank all of the active firefighters. Those of you that are here today, we got Engine 11, Truck 11, Battalion 6. Our ship would be my family. Uh, for years, my boys, they, they grew up with me on this job. They were 10, 7, and 4. My, my beautiful family, my mom's still living. Uh, she's a native San Franciscan, uh, born in 1925. So uh, this one's for my, my family at home and my family at work. Thank you, everybody. I mean, honestly, you are just a, become a dear, dear friend of mine, and I have such respect for you. And you, fittingly so, should be the first one to spray today. So, no, I'm telling you, you need to go first. This is your day. All right. Well done. <laughs> so, what do you think, uh, Chief? Shall we have um, survivor families first, or? Uh, natives? What do you think? All right, all right. All right, how about native San Franciscans? Come on up. Come on, Belle. Come on, Belle. This is my friend, Belle Marco. All the birds together. I think I'd like to dedicate this to Herb King. Power up. Yeah. Okay, here are the Murphy sisters. Here's the mic. And, and, and uh, Mike Morris, retired from uh, yes. we're, we're dedicating this to Ben Albrecht, our, our grandfather, who was uh, 11 years old at the uh, time of the earthquake and uh, lived was here in this park afterwards. And so had, uh, 80th birthday? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. And, Current firefighter Patrick Murphy's grandmother is 80 years old today, celebrating <laughs> and a native San Francisco. You get to spray first. Uh -oh. <laughs> you're, you're at the right age, I can date you. 
Father, Mac and Mary McGregor, graduates of the Mission High School right behind us, 39 and 41. Again, let's have another big round of applause for Ron Ross and all those years that he worked keeping San Francisco history alive. Come on, Ron. Give it a special spray. Before I give it a spray, I'm going to give a plug for the San Francisco History Association which is the one that still holds the great informal meetings at Congregation Shares Israel at the end of the month on Tuesday. Great speakers, great programs. Come on up. I didn't sleep with them. <laughs> uh, too much information. <laughs> TMI, TMI. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, that's nice. I'd like to call someone special to me right now, John Jameson, who's my fiance, who's put puts up with all the uh, somewhat interesting things I do all the time. Gets up early in the morning to come here and take me here, and did a good job hanging the wreath. It's a tough job, but someone. Uh, as a volunteer, first responder. Uh, reserve uh, since 9-11. This is for all the first responders uh, that have participated in, in uh, this disaster that we celebrate and others. Okay, we must have some more natives out here. Come on up. Don't be shy. But uh, I, I want to spray for two people today. One uh, a, a gentleman I worked with for years, uh, retired Captain Jack Bogue, who passed away recently, and may I wish him eternal life. And then I'd also like to uh, again congratulate uh, Joanne Hayes White for her tenure as chief, and I wish her a long life. Come on, David. David Eberle, who put together, along with Lee Housekeeper, all kinds of wonderful events and worked so hard today to make everything work. Guardians of the City, a wonderful person, and I love you, and thank you for coordinating my new helmet. I got an email from Donna who said, can I have a gold helmet? And I said, no, you cannot have a gold helmet. But I said, how about a truck helmet? Yeah, that's And so saying. that is why yeah. she's got the red, white, and black truck helmet. I'm um, very proud of it. A little bit, a little, little bit of a shout out. Um, I'm with Guardians of the City, obviously. Woo! But uh, recently, I'm, I got uh, a great job at the Department of Public Health EMS agency. So for all the firefighters and paramedics in the crowd, I'm the guy you see when it's time. So we'll take care of you. So I'd like to spray for everyone at Station 49, as well as our private uh, EMS providers in the city. So we're doing EMS right now. Here we go. There we go. Okay, Ed, take it away. I gotta do a spray for the one and only Herb Kane. A lot of you younger people don't know who I'm talking about. Mr. San Francisco and also Turk Murphy in the first San Francisco jazz band. Great jazz revival. Uh, this is for. Uh, I'm going to spray for my father, and uh, also I, I remember uh, a fantastic survivor, Norma McDonald. She was hilarious. Uh, 
I used to escort the, the survivors up on stage. Uh, I've been doing this for, I don't know, 25 years. So anyway, um, it's been a lot of fun, and I'm thankful for everybody that continues to come to this. And obviously, we should continue to do this. I'm a native San Franciscan board at French Hospital back in 66. There you go. The city of San Francisco and how wonderful it's been to me since I came here in 1976. Good morning, everyone. Next we have uh, Assistant Deputy Chief Michael Cochran. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is for my father and grandfather, both San Francisco firefighters, and really for Chief Joanne Hayes White. Uh, changed a lot of lives, including mine. I can't thank you enough. And good luck in your retirement. Next, we have our Director of Training, Assistant Deputy Chief Joel Sato. Bravery and stubbornness of all the people that stayed in a city that was no more who dedicated their lives to rebuilding and brought the city back to what it is today. Hello, my name is Stefan. I came from Switzerland all over here for the uh, Golden Hydrant ceremony. I want to dedicate this uh, for my grandparents, which uh, lived here, they passed away meanwhile, but my grandfather, he uh, was moving to San Francisco and that's why I fell in love with the city. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, for, thank you for being here. That's a great story. How wonderful. All right, thank you. Well, Chief, I'll turn it back over to you. You know, anybody else? Oh, I'm sorry. Come on up. Uh, my name is Kagan. I'd like to dedicate this just to San Francisco itself, my home, and also uh, to my partner, Hannah Madeline Gates Payne, who can't be here today, but who is also a true daughter of San Francisco. Victor Lim from uh, DEM, uh, Board General Hospital, uh, dedicating this to all our first responders uh, and also to uh, my former boss, uh, Mayor Lee, and uh, congrats to the Chief's retirement and uh, welcoming our new director, Mary Ellen Carroll, uh, and uh, got a new son, Leonard S. Born, at the uh, Old Children's that just shut down. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, come on up. My name is Lisa. I had a great aunt um, that was here in San Francisco in 1906. I also know someone whose grandfather was here in 1906. He was on his way to Hastings Law School and it was crumbled. They um, graduate the class graduated, but they didn't even have to take finals because there was no school. <laughs> Uh, I'm Glenn Norman. My great grandfather, Reuben, was in San Francisco in 1906 during the earthquake. Uh, he was scouting out a location to settle his new family that was um, Handle this as her last official in uniform visit to the Hydra, but we hope she'll come many, many more times. So you want to wrap it up with the hanging of the wreath and with. I overlooked the fact that I wanted to congratulate one of the best chiefs we've had in the history of San Francisco. And also to my grandfather who, who lived through the earthquake as well. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming out. Ron, I think you're going to put the wreath on the hydrant. And uh, once again, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve the city and with wonderful men and women of the San Francisco Fire Department. Thank you. Ron? Yeah, hold that. I would like to lay this wreath and dedicate it to the memory of all the people that have ever been involved with this, plus we're losing two great institutions in the city, Lucas, damn it, yeah. <laughs> and Beach Blanket Babylon, which is going to terrorize all of us. Yeah.
Thanks, Rowan. Another year. 113. Okay. Half of the same. All right. Beautifully done. All right. Well, Thank it. you, everybody. Thank you, Donna. Thanks, Chief. And we'll see you next year. Thanks, everyone. Dave Everly. Okay. <laughs> Don't come across. What do I do with the mic? Okay. <laughs>